Tell how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Namaste. Grand rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Come in, come on, I've got intel. Recon is afoot. May your comings and goings be forever covered by the grace of the Most High. When in doubt, Go within! Bestie, oi, talking about going within, darling dears. People need to go within if they think that I'm having it blood. Bruh, or see stream. What do you mean rioting in the UK? They want to riot on me? Me? <laughs> I think not, Scotty. I think not. Mm -mm. Bebe. Right, I felt a bit discombobbled then. I thought, listen, some people's gone straight up crazy. The, all of that race rioting in the UK, what for? If someone of a different color is, is um, unalived, right? We don't blame the whole race. We blame the person that did it, that took that action against that person. People that went off for all sorts and caused all of these riots breaking down people's businesses, ruining their cars, beating, beating people up in their face, darling dears. Just letting you know, us over here in the UK, right, the same ones, we ain't having it, blood, bruh, or sis dream. Let's carry on, let's carry on. They want to come and riot on me. <laughs> We've got the energy of the eight, darling dears. The energy of the eight is about death. It's about taxes. It's about karma. It's about losses. But the eighth house is also the house of um, financial gain, darling dears. Mm -hmm. According to the low shoe grid, this is a northeastwardly direction, possibly something coming from that direction or something that you have to send to that direction. The, the number eight is represented representative of wisdom, darling dears. Right, self knowledge. Go and move in, blood, before you pop off, and it's the last pop off you do. Listen, <laughs> there's no one in here to hold me back, blood. <laughs> Listen, I seek them, I seek no one. Oi, stop the popping off, blood. Especially if you're thinking of coming to where did they say they're going? Peckham, Walthamstow. They want to go to Cap. Listen, that's where you're going to see a community stand together, darling, dears. No one wants to walk through war-torn situations in a country that's supposed to be one of the, the f foremost in the world. Well, that's what they say. You guys need to go and watch my um, Pluto in Aquarius video, darling dears. Because Pluto is about to leave Aquarius and go into Capricorn in retrograde from the 1st of September until the 19th of September. Listen, there's a lot going to be going down between those months. People in high positions, presidents, um, monarchy, people in influencers, darling dears. They're going down Bobby Brown. Old systems are dying. And you're going to see it because I, pre I predict this from since when was this? Um, December, January time. And I put up the read. Go and watch it. That reading is valid for the next 20 years. How about that? Right, 
I'm, listen, I'm, I'm just con want to come and riot on me, want to punch me in my face, right? <laughs> They want me working on my nine lives, black. On my nine lives. Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. So, the um, the number eight on the low shoe grid, darling dears, is representative of Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or wherever it's placed in your chart, darling dears. Your luckiest colors over the next few days will be um, blue and green, darling dears. Wear them everywhere, right? Why? Because you have the energy of the two on top, darling dears. The energy of the two telling me that you're going to be having an adventurous, adventurous period, darling dears. Unexpected good news coming in from all corners. Compliments. Being gifted things, darling dears. It also speaks about some of you may even be lucky enough to win a bit of money. If you're going to speculate with gambling, make sure you never gamble more than you can afford to lose. Why? You'll be sorry, blood. Big time sorry. Yeah, like that. Mmm. Hmm. If you're planning any form of trip, darling, there's any form of travel, it should go smoothly, even though we are in the midst of Mercury retrograde, darling, dears. But it's because it's the cause it's because of the energy that surround it, darling, dears. The eight houses in a cult house. It also speaks about you learning your abilities, darling, dears. Listen, nothing like understanding what's going on and then and then learning how to bend the matrix, darling, dears. The eighth house could be money coming towards you in the form of other people's money. Maybe you're joining finances. It could be money being gifted to you, darling, dears, through your work. Um, I don't know. Um, what's the other word? When, when someone comes to support you. Listen, you've got to help me out. I've got the aphasia, darling, dears. Like I said. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, pressing on. It's also the house of death and dying, darling, dears. So you may be saying goodbye to many my condolences, big cat. But it's also about your your um, psychic awareness. You fully, un fully understanding in what's going on, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You're going to be dealing with your wounds, past wounds that you thought had been what? Dodo dead. Well, guess what? They're coming back up, especially during this Mercury retrograde in Virgo. It's going to look at your health situations, the people you had around you, darling dears. Was you being taken care of? All of that thing. You'll be looking at your co-workers. Mm -hmm. But it's also the house of losses, darling dears. Bankruptcy. Um, lots of personal sacrifice, okay? But this is going to bring on full on what healing and transformation. The energy of the eight is about you, what? Not holding back, darling dears. This is your time. You are a master manifester. It's about you going big and bold. Mm -hmm. Coming through many, many tests, darling dears. Tests that you didn't ask for. Nope, you didn't, but you had to go through them in order to become the enlightened cat. Mm -hmm. it's about you being in your authority and some of you will be stepping into an into a position of authority darling because i told you you are master manifester that is being prosperous in everything you do your touch is turning things to gold remember i told you that but you must remember to what stay true to your passions mm -hmm. it's time for you to be prosperous big cat remember i told you that the energy of the eight tells me that you will be blamed for something, darling dears. Yes, you think you're out of the water, water and you're living fabulous, gorgeous and lovely, but you're about to be blamed. Something to do with some form of communication, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The energy of the 4-4 also speaks about some kind of a party, some kind of an invitation, some kind of celebration that you're going to be invited to, darling dears. Remember, this could be the place where you may be blamed for something. So be very careful where you choose to go, darling dears. Put your feelers out there, your third eye. Mm -hmm. You also have the one and the five on the side. Again, a highly spiritual number. Again, analyzing every situation. Why? Divine has put you in that unique position of being what? Genius mode, darling dears. Genius mode. Mm -hmm. The energy of the four is about your structure, your stability, and you being in a manifestation mode. The four is ruled by Libra as well as Aquarius energy. Yeah, the fifth house is about you putting out your creativities, darling dears, getting some form of return with the eleventh house being paid for it, darling dears. Mm -hmm. As well as what? The mouth breathers are still spying on what you've got going on. Okay. 
the energy of the eight darling dears you could be a life path eight or the number eight will feature in your life over the next few days darling dears eight seventeen or twenty six is representative of the letters h q and z um the eight is ruled by saturn saturn rules capricorn and tradition tra uh, kind of saying it traditionally um aquarius so it's hqz and the p and the f darling dears it speaks about you being the ceo a high achiever the numbers two four and eight will be your luckiest numbers over the next few days um the luckiest days will be friday saturday and sunday avoid the numbers three seven and nine you are going to some of you are going to be put in a position where you'll be seen as um, someone in authority, people looking up to you, darling dears. Remember, it's the element of the um, earth energy from the low shoe grid, darling dears. Find out where the earth elements are in your chart. See if they're in the second, the eighth, and the tenth house. Okay. All right. It's about you having done your research, energy of the seven, darling dears, and coming up with what's something that is more fitting of you. This is you coming out of a struggle in a in a mature way. Um, forgiveness is definitely on the table, darling dears, but it's also about the structure you are building for yourself, okay? The energy of eight is also representative, as I said, of, of the eighth house. So whatever you've built, pardon me, that was spiritual belch because I speak the truth roof. Pinkies up. Whatever you've built, darling dears, is going to last into your old age. Remember, I told you that, and it's the eighth house, money being paid to you, other people's money. Yeah, that's what I love, darling dears. It could be from a sponsor, someone sponsoring your joint finances. It could be from a business deal. It's coming towards you. It's also about you looking at your, your how can I put it? Your, your... You overcame tests that you didn't even know you was involved in, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be in the legal field or legal reality, a teacher. Um, you could be in the schools. You could be a dean. Um, you could be in the nursing field, a doctor. You could be a reader, darling dears. Whatever it is, this fortune is being gifted to you. Remember I told you that. You may have an issue with your skin, your teeth, your bones, your ears and your knees. Okay. The energy of Saturn also speaks about a gloomy time that you went through, darling dears. A gloomy time when you believed there was limitations on your life. It also speaks about when you stayed in the doldrums, the DNS, the dark night of the soul, darling dears. You saw a lot of obstacles. You started looking at the glass as half empty instead of half full. Mm -hmm. The energy of Saturn also speaks about the punishment that is about to be rained on many ahead, darling dears. People that what? Passed you over, darling dears. They thought you was chump change. <laughs> He's finished laughing. They thought you was chump change. What in the entire... Mm -hmm. They think they're dealing with... Oh, how now brown cow, darling dears. How now brown cow. The energy of the eight also speaks about the spiritual journey that you've been on, darling dears. This speaks about your connection to the most high crown chakra, darling dears, receiving wisdom, wisdom that is guiding you along your path, this path that you had to trust in your mental growth. It also speaks about, for some, you have a friend coming towards you, darling dears, the energy of the two, the gifts, the compliments. Mm -hmm. This is about you winning through your actions, never your words. Law number nine of the 48 laws of power. Making, th making it look effortless how things come to you. Law number eight, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And for some, you're being put in a position where you've made yourself indispensable with your knowledge. Law number 11 of the 48 laws of power, darling dears. Indispensable? Because the indispensable is like you're seeing a vision of a bridge, darling dears. I believe that you've made yourself the go-between because rainbows right i know this is sounding like it's listen rainbows are portals darling dears remember i told you that so you are about to bridge the gap between this this malkuth darling dears this is an upgrade in your spirituality darling dears are we going into the 5d maybe darling dears look where we are with all of this all of the writing that's going on right um the over the top murders people being driven by what what the what would be rebuked in the name of the most high darling dears look at all of, all of the um 
tornadoes. The temperatures is rising, all of the fish coming out of the sea, not even the sharks want to be in there, darling dears. We're seeing all different types of marine land coming up from the depths of the sea, which we've never seen before. Many of you are thinking that this time is the worst time to be alive. I think not, Scotty. It's the best time. Why? We are in the age of Aquarius. Yes, it's going back into Capricorn. But you see the things that are going to be revealed. It's also going to be bringing us to the point of war. Yes, B.O.B. Over the next next four weeks, darling, dears, things are going to be hotting up. We've also got people highlighted on their birth natal chart for bad things to happen to them, darling, dears, in the form of... Um, Mr. T and Mr. B, darling dears. Mm -hmm. We've also got things being revealed about um the lady Carmela. Yes, baby. It's all in their birth chart. Things are going down for her over the next few days, darling dears. Stay tuned to this channel. And when it hits, hit me up in the, in the comments, darling dears. Or send me a Gmail. Mm -hmm. People think these are the darkest times, but they're not. They are the most enlightened times. Things that we, that was, that was, that they wanted us to believe, darling dears. Things about Tartaria, the mud flood, all of that, all of the buildings that they had, all of the access that they had to free electricity, all of those things are about to be revealed. Because what goes up must come down, darling dears. And the rule has ended. This is now the age of Aquarius, the age of information, the age of expansion. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. So it's definitely going to be technologically. It's going to be something to do with the airplanes, the way of flying, driving, all of that, darling dears. And it's as though the whole world is on fast forward. So it's not going to be like 20 years from now. Things are coming out this year, darling dears. Lots of deception that we was under. Because if this if this awakening had happened back in the 60s, not everybody would have been awake. But now, everybody's third eye is well and too, truly shine, darling dears. And those people that are out there rioting, burning down buildings and all of that, that's not that's not what that's not what it's about. It's about you being able to make a peaceful protest and put across your point so that people can actually hear. Going and fighting people in the street, dragging them out of cars, all of that. What's that for? I'm not telling anyone off in particular, but good God, they want to riot on me. Imagine that. No. But anyway, let's press on. Let's press on. Let's get a deck of See, even they's getting upset. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get something I haven't used in a while. If I can find it. Sometimes my cards hide from me. I wanted to use the African Goddess cards, but I can't. Let me stand up and get a bit of perspective. That's missing in action, darling. It's, it's missing in action. Okay, we'll choose something else randomly. <clears throat> yeah, the energy of the two travel, darling, dears, and not keeping your genius at the forefront of your mind because you are being spiritually protected at this moment in time and you are standing on the biggest pentacle of them all, darling, dears. The Ace of Pentacles tells me that you are being inspired. It speaks about the manifestation mode you're in again. Eighth house, darling, dears. It speaks about the growth. It speaks about the planning and the fact that you had to what? Gain emotional stability in order for you to appreciate and be grateful for what is about to be about to enter your lives, darling, dears. Some of you it could also be the planning of a wedding because the ring bearing card, the Pentacles, it represents a marriage and engagement. Mm -hmm. Most definitely a fresh start for you, darling dears. One which is laced with what success and gifts, darling dears. And gifts don't ne just necessarily mean a present. Sometimes it means what the spiritual gifts, gifts that can. There's no amount of money that can go in place of the gift that you are being gifted with. Mm -hmm. This is good vibes, darling dears. Your marriage improving. If you're married, your health improving. Um, new offers, new opportunities coming towards you. And 
thank you. Yeah, half in heaf, darling dears. This also reminds me of what? The Ten of Cups, being in emotional alignment. Whatever you've got on the world, darling dears, it's about to overflow. Remember I told you that. It also speaks about um, happy families, being at peace. You're underneath an archway. Archways are what? Portals, gateways. And again, I have to remind you about gateways. Be very careful of mirrors, darling dears. Mirrors have a direct connection to... Um, to dinge to people because so many things have happened in front of mirrors darling dears murders love is made all these kind of things but the energy is trapped within the mirror remember i told you that if you have a mirror in front of your bed especially if it's in front well if it's in your room darling dears obsidian black crystal or or um tourmaline in front of that mirror darling dears mm -hmm. This also means about, for some, this is true love starting, darling dears, or it's the starting of a family, joining of a family. <clears throat> for some, this is being an, in alignment with true soul tribe, darling dears, true friendship coming through for you, darling dears. The energy of the 10th house also speaks of, did I say 10th house? 10th house Freud and slip meant to come out. What's that? Money, Skrilla.com. Yeah, 10th house is about your reputation, darling dears. If you weren't seen before, you are stepping towards fame, whatever fame means for you. 10th house is also Dharma, darling dears, honoring the ambitions that you have. You are also the breadwinner of your family. Okay. Right, the 10th, the, the ten of, I'm going to say it properly now, the 10th cup also speaks about what? The breaking of generational curses. You're being protected. Mm. Tenth cup is um Pisces and Mars energy, darling dears. So secrets, things that were hidden from you, darling dears, are all being revealed. Listen, nothing like a nothing like a tada moment, darling dears. And you've got the earth energy as well. It speaks about building an, a new foundation. Maybe you're building a home. Yeah. So we've got the fire and the earth. On the tableau, and again, this speaks about manifestations, darling dears. What you are bringing towards you. Mm -hmm. Definitely a gift and definitely success. Continue to focus on your stability as well as your career, darling dears. Whatever your career is. Because you're about to be majorly breast. Now you've got the... Um, listen, I almost forgot to talk. You've got the Ace of Cups, darling dears. This is new relationships, new friendships. It's also the new SEX, darling dears, for some of you. Mm -hmm. But make sure that you what research them before you give up the goods. Why? It's better to cry at the front end than cry at the back end when you've lost all of your edges, your hairline blood. Remember your hairline. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a new life, darling dears, one where you're going to experience a lot of prosperity and abundance. It also speaks about the self-love, the self-love you show yourself. This is why you're showing up and showing out, darling dears, putting thyself first. This is what, what allowed you to what recreate your identity. Law number 25 of the 48 laws of power. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've got the one's energy as well, setting your intentions, darling dears. A spiritual journey for sure, 100%. Yeah. Somebody's also moving towards pregnancy, a birth, birth of a child. Know this, be very careful with the birth. It's going to be a difficult one, one's energy. But you'll get your baby and you'll be just fine. So this is looking like C-section territory. I know it well, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Just be ready for action in all situations, darling dears. Okay, to the decks. Do we go to the decks or do we go somewhere else? Going somewhere else first. The cups also speak about spiritual, darling dears. Maybe you are a spiritual person, right? What's this? Something that you meditated on. Like I said, full on manifestation. What else fell on me? Mm. Something is a definite no for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Right? We've also got empath. What I believe you to be. Either empath or Hioka. Did I not just say Dharma is on your side? Okay. Mm. We've got the what? 
backstabbing Judas, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. Mm -hmm. We've got, listen again, we have law number eight, darling dears. Make make them come to you. Whatever the situation is, darling dears, you're gonna be putting something out there that brings all the all the boys to the was it all the boys to the yard. Boys and girls, darling dears. Because this is about to be a never ending story. Whatever you're doing is about to take you into your old age, darling dears. Maybe something that you meditated on told you no. Why? Because fate, destiny and good luck is on the tableau, darling dears. Again the energy of the eight. I love it. Deal with those wounds, darling dears. Because you've got major incoming, right? And always what? Love yourself first. Ace of Cups. You've got to love you first, darling dears. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's press on. We've got the energy of um the energy of Saturn, darling dears. Okay. Saturn is about um it's about the structure and it's also about you what creating boundaries a halicin darling dears a halicin so that you're not the same salt levels darling dears no no right let's get a deck that i haven't used in a while I'll use this one base of the deck what you're seeking is seeking you it could also be what a love affair darling dears energy of the two of cups i love it i don't hate it Mm -hmm. soul family soul tribe it also speaks about a second chance possibly in the romance department darling dears the energy of the two could also speak about you traveling towards this person this person traveling towards you right first card on the tableau because you're taking a leap of faith you're nobody's fool darling dears yeah it also speaks about helpful hands coming in very quickly yeah someone's coming in very quickly darling dears the energy of the night also speaks about it being a message the knight of swords the Knight of Swords also comes through, right? Telling me that you've healed from some kind of heartbreak, whether it's in a love situation, a friendship situation, but right? it speaks about you being completely healed. Look how you're traveling, traveling light, darling dears. Mm -hmm. No longer the bag lady. Come through, Erica Badu. Posh, clap. No longer the bag lady, darling dears. Traveling very light. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You're about to be poured into, darling dears, from the most high. Mm -hmm. If you ever wondered what's going on with you, you're the Empress. The baddest of them all. Remember I told you that. It's also Venus. Venus energy. So that's so um um oh come on, case okay, go back to it. Venus energy is um oh my gosh. Think, think, think. It's Taurus as well as Libra energy, darling dears. So it's about your money. It's also about your creativity. Some of you are in the beauty field, darling dears. But whatever you're putting out there, there's a microphone here. Somebody stepping up to the mic, darling dears. You're about to be supported by someone coming in. We've also got the six of six of pentacles. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. This again. It speaks of a gift. Somebody coming through with a gift for you, darling dear. Somebody who comes in with power and money, darling dear. Someone to match your status. And this also speaks about helping hands coming through. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, darling dear. We've got the page of cups. Somebody wanting to make an apology. This is a quiet apology. You know the type of apology that you have quietly in your own house where no one can hear. Yeah. Somebody want to come through with a quiet apology. I don't know how to feel about that. Other than to say, where's my shit? Oh, here it is. Point A and point B, which will quickly go into what? Dummy bat territory, darling dears. Dummy bat territory. Because why do they need to apologize now? Now that you're in the what? Eighth house, darling dears. Building your wealth, being gifted money from other people. The money can also speak about um, the ending of a situation. It could speak about HR. It could speak about retirement. As I said, joint finance is money coming to you until your old age. Remember I told you that. So the page of cups, it could be your progeny. It, because this is mother and child, darling dears. Somebody's... You've got a relationship... You've got a relationship with a child, darling dears. This this child is very judgmental of you as a parent. But you're in the upright. You've done the best you could as a parent. This person is very judgmental. They're not right next to you, darling dears. But they're Venus. I don't believe this person still lives with you. But they're very judgmental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this person wants to come in darling this this could be anyone it could be a it could be a child that wants to apologize for some past behaviors a student a sibling but there was definitely an age between age gap between you and this person yeah because you was the mature one darling dears and even if they was the same age or older this person was immature this is someone that likes to gaslight and use their emotions to control the situation darling dears hang man you're seeing things from a different perspective it also speaks about someone needing to call the police i'm talking about this is someone that may even come back and say they're about to unalive themselves listen maybe you have as a what spiritual being having a human experience you must call 999 in the uk and get the emergency services over there darling dears yes you can send them for a wellness check but don't go yourself why the eighth house mean death blood it means dodo dead blood we've seen the first 48 what do you mean we've watched Leia gordon what do you mean no blood what did i say they're going for it, darling dear. Somebody's stressed, anxious, not knowing what to do, darling dear. Stuck in a situation where there was like folio. Yeah, the king of the fools, darling dears. Because they see where you're going. The message that's coming towards you could also represent a contract signing, darling dears. Something that's going to make you stable. And again, we have an archway. Archway is a portal, a gateway. Something that is just for you, darling dears. Being manifested. Something opening up. Mm hmm yeah, look, can you stand any more, Skrilla? Someone coming in with helping hands, darling dears. It also speaks about the tenacity, tenacity that you use to get to this stage of the game. It speaks about you no longer, what? Letting people handle you any sort of way. It's about you being obstreperous, darling dears. Noisy and difficult to handle. They want to handle the big cat who pees glitter, shit, cupcakes and farts rainbows. I can't believe this shit's naive. Mm -hmm. You may have as much as two progeny live in you, but you definitely have a child that does not live with you, darling dears. Extremely judgmental. There's lots of pentacallies around the queen, darling dears. So you take care of the ones that are with you, darling dears. You do the best of your ability. Yeah, one to one relationships hinted by the scale. Yeah, you're nurturing, you're loving. Yeah, but the empress is also, as I said, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. It's like the, the, the mother is loving. She takes care of everything, takes care of the finances, whatever. But she's not um a hands... Not, I would say it's a hands-on parent, but they're a bit reserved. Yes, that's the word. They're reserved, but they're there for everything, darling dears. Mm-hmm. It also speaks about accusations from a child that doesn't live with you as well as someone from the past. Someone that you had to what? Say no on it. Mm -hmm. Someone that you had to get back into that space to remember what the DNS was like, darling dears. The dark night of the soul. Mm -hmm. The day you decided to what? Put down that misery, right? And take up your flip-flops, your common sense, darling dears. Crossed at the knee, I might add. Pinkies up. Someone definitely trying to come through, darling dears, to bring vib vitality, new beginning. The wall at your back is about you putting the past behind you like a ponytail. And again, we are in Leo season, darling dears. For those not wishing to be pregnant, because this is pregnancy, be very careful with whatever contraceptives you use. And the pull-out method don't work, blood. It doesn't. <laughs> hey, it only takes one time, darling dears. Mm-hmm. With the relationships next to the Empress, it's about people being more, more choosy with the partner that they bring into their life. King of Cups. Listen, if you're going to get someone, let it be the King of Cups. <laughs> this is a fated meeting. You have a secret admirer coming towards you, darling dear. Someone that's been admiring you for some time. They're about to get in contact with you. This person has their own things. Yeah, possibly over the age of 35. Own home, car, career, business. Um, spiritual practice, King of Cups, utilizing spiritual practices in their life, darling dears, but they, look, you're looking at the here and now, the present moment, whether you're male or female, this person is focused on you, darling dears, someone that, you've caught someone's eye, mm -hmm. yeah, look at this, baby, 
So this is who you're healing from, the emperor, darling dears. This person was never your friend. If they had another friend, they was a better friend than you. This also speaks about cheating, darling dears. Yes, gossiping, darling dears. Those what? Mouth breathers, the merchants of slander. This emperor was no one's emperor, right? Next to this card, if there was a parent, they never showed up for their children. It's the healing that you're doing at this moment in time, or you have done. Moving towards where? The eighth house what did i tell you money coming from all directions right multiple streams of income you're gonna have to choose what's right for you darling dears you're healing from a situation mm. let's go back in again and see what else is going on an empath and this person is a vax front net tab in judas darling dears someone's someone's regret right is their co-pilot at this moment in time somebody was in their ego darling dears they took you to your stress threshold your most pissed off is this yeah oh. anything they told you is a friend a lover anything it all was a lie it was all disillusionment meant to what would wink you out of what your future darling is the future that you've now provided for yourself with the energy of the eight you was able to do to do bad all by yourself and it also speaks about what keep your shit private darling dears don't tell them nothing cups is also about emotions darling dears they need something to fuel the fire mm -hmm. yeah false friends secret enemies people cheating on you but you know what it's about your intuition, darling dears, because you already knew what was going on. But it was for you to have the courage to walk away from what doesn't serve you. Use the energy of the eight, darling dears, to what? Achieve your dharma, like the dharma. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't hate it. Yeah, you're walking away from this situation. It speaks about your tenacity. You focus, darling dears. Something that you've been working on some time, because this is the night right and you're going to the empress so after the night comes the um the king or the queen and then onto the empress darling dears you've been working on something some time and it also speaks about the person that is going to be in your life darling dears yes they come with their own finances but this is somebody that likes to take a fresh perspective of new ideas they're prepared to get into the dirt with you darling dears if it's the focus of what starting a business um whatever darling dears buying property i'm i know this will be down the line but it's all on tablet eighth house joint finances darling dears and finances coming towards you which you truly deserve yeah it's all lies it's all lies yeah look i told you everything was a effing lie it looks like a narc for sure a narc a sociopath a psychopath yes and you know you know bestie lean in They've not seen a psychiatrist, psychologist, nor an exorcist to get rid of them demons. This person is going through tower moment after tower moment, darling dears. Personal people, people that should have stayed their hand, but they were shady from the beginning, darling dears. Whatever they didn't, look, the tower just fell in the reverse. You avoided a scud missile. Remember I told you that? Tell me more about this tower. Yeah. In a situation where there was no love, no friendship, no nothing. Lots of jealousy, lots of envy, lots of hate. This is why your back must be forever turned, darling dears. Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. Focus on the future and again, it's showing you the worldwide travel. You're going to be travelling, darling dears. You're going to be travelling. Yeah, move on from this situation. I know it's not easy in some cases, but you have to what, see the reality for what it was yeah mm -hmm. and the two pillars of wisdom boys and jashin for completion and beginning you also have a message coming towards you knight of wands could also represent a deep dealing mattress back darling dears listen whatever that message is coming towards you allow it yeah you're still you're peaceful you're peaceful no one's writing on you today yeah and you've healed and this is the transformation and you stepping out there what in a major way we spoke about the 10th house Something to do with your career. Letting go of one thing to gain something better. Remember I told you that. Mm. Oh. 
the betrayal that you went through, darling dears, the abuse from many, but you're still head and shoulders above. It took that many to come up against you and whatever you've got going on. And you've healed Emperor Energy, darling dears. It tells me that you're a natural born speaker, darling dears. You're highly intuitive, very, 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 very empath empathic, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Again, it's telling you to go after your goals, go after your dreams, darling dears. This not is this is not the time to be laying down on your back, darling dears. This is the time to re-inject yourself into whatever it is that you've been injecting yourself into, darling dears. The swords tells me about all the things that you've learned, darling dears. The knowledge and the wisdom that you gained from the energy of the seven on the side of the deck, darling dears. Moving forward. Mm hmm. The energy of the double two also speaks about some kind of reunion. If this is the person that wants to reunion with you, darling dears, you better go what? Bermuda Triangle, darling dears. You don't want to be found. Nope. Look, because this person is a fool and a fool is always surrounded by fools. It's gonna, this one is going to start me off again, darling dears, and I don't want to be on the edge. <laughs> I don't. No. Let's get a final card, then we're out of here to get great. I'm going to use this one. Base of your deck, the Phoenix Rising, darling dears, the rebirth of you. Always be adaptable and on the move. Be formless. Law number 48 of the 48 laws of power. What do we need to know going forward with all of these blessings on us? These blessings for what? Upliftment, darling dears. Utilizing whatever occult training you got in, darling, your spirituality. This is like you stepping outside of the fishbowl and going into the ocean. Not knowing everything, because no one can know everything. I mean, he picked it, no, let it come out by itself. Thank you. Yeah. Continue with your healthy choices, darling, dears. And it's also about the company that you keep. And anything you've already put down, don't pick it back up. Why? Because you'll be picking up narcissists, darling dears. People that are self-important. People that like to put themselves first. People that like to what? Come and come and do, come and um, use you as a psychological tampon, darling dears. Dump on you. No, sir. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Not today, Satan. Didn't we just say I rebuke you in the name of the Most High? On that note, I drops me mic. Todd over to my Teesprings, my Patreon, and my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Make that wave. Until we meet again. On these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Oh, yeah. And also... To those that are not cats, either domestic or international, those that are not cats, don't start no riot on me, blood. Not having it, bruh.